Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how I get this photo to end up looking like this photo. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go into the actual image itself and I need to start playing around with it a little bit. So let's get it nice and big. And in Adobe Lightroom, I'm going to first of all do some cropping. So we don't want that light, we don't need as much of the floor, and we don't need this whole wall. What we are going to want is some wall on this side so we can write our message over there. Now we're going to play around with the exposure a little bit. I want to actually, if we look up here at the histogram, there's nothing that's overexposed. So if we hold down Alt and then pull the exposure slider along, there we can see where it becomes too bright. So there, that's going to be all blown out. So we just need it around about the one and a half, no, no, one and a quarter there. So that's it nice and bright. The recovery, let's just give it a little bit, let's see, bring up to about... 25 or 14, that'll do. And blacks, we want blacks to really come in quite a bit. So let's go around about the 14 area. Brightness and contrast, not too bothered about that. Let's give a little bit more vibrance. Now, tone curve, this is where we want to play a bit. Um, I'm just going to go down here and change this. So let's give the highlights good bit. The normal lights give that a little bit as well. Let's give the darks, let's get, make the darks a little bit darker and make the shadows, which is really dark, but it's really dark. That's good. Maybe go to the spot removal and let's increase the size. Let's also zoom in. Ooh, too much. And to move around an image when you've zoomed in, you use this bit at the side. And we can just remove some of these old white patches, which were obviously just reflections in the back. So we we'll just move that one. Good. Okay, so that's that looking pretty good. Get rid of spot removal. There. Let's see. Is there any other things we could do? We'll probably increase some of the saturation a little bit. Sharpening, don't need to do anything like that. Let's maybe also give it a vignette. So if we zoom out, give it there. Yeah, so that, that's the finalised image. Export, go down to Dunbar Photography, go to specific folder. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go and open up GIMP. Okay, so now what we need to do, now that we've got GIMP open, uh, we can close down Lightroom and we'll open up that image. So file, open. Okay, so that's just got the image on to our screen. And what we want to do, let's zoom in so it's taking up more of our screen. And what we want to do is we write, want to write some text on this wall and make it look like it's actually on the wall or coming out of the wall. So to do that, we need to start by opening up the text box. And the company that this guy is going to be working for is kind of a, a male model company, and it's called Chocolate Velvet. So we'll start with the first word, and we'll make it all capitals. C-H-O-C-O-L-A-T-E. Chocolate. Close. Now, what we want to do is go over to the toolbox palette and click on the A, which is telling you the text. And we want to increase the size. So size, let's take it up to 65. And also let's increase the distance between the letters a little bit. So there, let's take it up to 12. So if we move the image along a little bit, there, close that again. Um, that's the image, or that, that that's the word. But I would say we're not really happy with that because we want to give it what we call a drop shadow. Now drop shadow is well, pretty much like just putting a shadow. And we're going to give it colour. So what we do is we right click on the layers dialog and go to duplicate layer. So effectively now there's 
two words here, chocolate, chocolate, both directly on top of each other. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next one and go and change the colour. So we're going to make this one kind of a red colour. So now it looks like it's totally red. But all we need to do is let's put that one underneath. So we just drag, put it down. No, let's put it up again, but let's click on it and then press down, down, oh. press down, down, right, right. So that's just two buttons on the computer screen and now it looks like the L is coming out, but I kind of want the colour to be in the background. So I just click on the layers dialog and then come down here and press lower. So there you go. But actually, do I want it that way? I think I want the red to be up and to the left. So I'll click on that and press up, up, left, left. No. Okay, now what I also want to do is I want to make it so it's a little bit blurry. So on this one, let's get rid of that. We want to go up to filters, go to blur, Gaussian blur, and let's make it around about, oh, maybe not 14, let's go about 7. Okay. Okay, so that's giving it kind of a blurry look. And we'll also lower the opacity. So if you lower the opacity, it disappears all the way up. So we'll bring it around about 70. So let's go back to the layers, get them all together. And that looks pretty good. So what we now need to do is go and merge down those two layers. So that will mean that the red and black stay together. Okay, so that's that as a whole layer. Now what we want to do is make it look like it's coming out of the wall. So to do that, we need to go to the Perspective tool here. Move this out of the way. And now, now we've got to figure out the perspective of this image. So the good thing is we've got this kind of um, bar, can't remember what those things are called, um, separating the top part of the wall and the bottom part of the wall. So we can use that as a guideline. So if we bring this bit down here a little bit, and then bring this one up, this one up as well. And you've got to remember, as it goes away, it gets smaller. So, I'd say that's looking pretty good. So it's over each other, but it's not a problem. And you really want to get it on its first go. I would say it still needs to go up a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So that's chocolate. Now we want to add the next word. So click on the letter tool again and start typing. So it is V E L V E T. Close that, that's fine. Okay, so that's the word again. Just want to move that so it's in a better place there, so just so we can see it a bit better. And we'll do the same again. We'll give it a duplicate layer. And on the bottom layer, let's change the colour. So go back here, change colour, go to maybe a blue. Let's make it a little bit there. Looks good. Um, and as you can see that just now because it's underneath. But if we click on this velvet, this one, and then we move it. So we'll make sure we click on it. Then up, up, left, left. Left, uh, blur. Gaussian blur again. Gaussian blur is the ones because you've just got the most kind of control over that. And there, that's nice and blurry. Let's maybe bring the pass it in a little bit. That looks good. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we want to get it into position. So go up into perspective again. That's pretty good. So transform. There, chocolate velvet. Save. Done. Okay, hope that helps. Um, give it a go. Cheers. Bye.